Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 7 of Learn Adobe Photoshop Elements and now we're doing 12. As you guys know in the previous videos I was using Elements 11 but since then Adobe has come out with Elements 12. I was going to do a video where I was going to talk about some of the differences but I decided not to do that. I think it's better if I just continue this series using Elements 12 and whenever there's a difference, something that's in 12 that isn't in 11 I'll explain the difference and I'll try to show you how to do it in both 11 and 12 if we ever get to that point. But right now I'm going to use Elements 12 and what we're going to do is we're going to introduce layers and layer masks. And how we're going to do that is I have this photograph here of my son Joe as you can see sitting on the far right of the bench. Then in this photograph I have him sitting on the far left of the bench and then in this photograph he's sitting right in the middle of the bench and what we're going to do we're going to use layers and layer masks to combine the images so we get three Joes sitting on the bench so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the grid view I'm in organizer and I'm going to select the three photos I want to bring over into the editor so I'm going to click on the first one and then I'm going to go over to the last one and hold the shift key down and click on that last one. Then I'm going to go down to where it says editor and there's a little down arrow. I'm going to click on that down arrow and I'm going to click photo editor. And what that will do, it will take those three photographs and it will put them in the editor in separate tabs. So here's the first tab of Joe sitting in the middle, the second tab he's sitting on the far left, and the third tab he's sitting on the far right. So what we want to do now is we want them to be layers in one tab. So we got to move them over into one tab so they're layers. So what I want you to do, if you don't have your layers panel over here showing, right here at the bottom where it says layers, click on that and you'll have the layers panel showing. What we're going to do, we're going to start with the second image. We'll click on the second one. And what I want to do is I want to move it to the first tab. So click the move tool, which is the first tool under the select uh, group of tools and you could hit the V as in Victor key that will be a shortcut to that tool. Then all you gotta do is click anywhere on the image and hold the left mouse button down and drag the image up to the other tab and we're gonna drop it right on top. Now what, before you let go of the left mouse button hold the shift key down and now let go of the left mouse button and what that does when you hold the shift key down it squares it up and drops it right on top so it's perfectly aligned. If you didn't hold the shift key down wherever you happen to have your cursors where the where you're going to be placing the, the photograph so it might not be right on top. Alright so now we have two layers. We have I'm um, going to turn you could see these little eyeballs here. These little eyeballs you click on that and you'll turn off a layer so it doesn't show. So I turned off the top layer so all we're seeing is the background layer. The way to think of layers is they're kind of sheets of acetate that are on an overhead projector for those of you that are old like me you remember the overhead projectors in school and the teacher might put down like a, a graph and um, lay it down on a sheet of acetate on the overhead projector and then he'd lay one down on top of it that showed maybe colors and colored the graph a different way and um, that's what layers are kind of akin to in elements you have a sheet of acetate which is this one and it's a very solid picture of my son Joe sitting in the middle of the bench and then when you lay the other one on top of it it's just totally covering it up because it's not really being blended into that bottom one so we have two layers one on top of the other now what we want to do is we only want this part of Joe of this picture which is my son sitting on the left side of the bench we only want that and we want that to be right here on this part of the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a layer mask on this layer right here. And the layer mask icon is right here at the top. It's the third one from the left and it even says add layer mask. Now when I click on that you'll see it puts a white square to the right of this photo. Now that's the mask and whatever the, the mask is white that means everything is going to show through so you could as you could see when that layer mask got put there it it didn't really uh, do anything the um, layer is still showing through so like white think of white lets it through so white is letting it through and that's all we're still seeing is this now to block it we'd want that to be black now how we would do that is 
we could just make sure you clicked on the mass mask itself. Now, the, before I go on, there's a lot of different ways to do things in Elements, and I'm going to show you, you know, a way to do it. And you don't have to email me and tell me you know three other ways to do it or anything like that. I'm just going to show you what how I do it in my workflow, and I think it's the most efficient way. So, right now, I'm going to uh, click on this mask, and um, I'm going to hit Command I. If you have a PC, Control I. And what that does, it inverts the mask and makes it black. Now, do you see what happened now? It's blocking this layer. So this layer is showing. So let me do it again. Command-I, it's white. So this layer shows through. Command-I, it's black. Now it's blocking this layer. Now, we want this layer, though, as you recall, had my son Joe sitting on the bench right here. I want that to show through. So all i got to do is paint on the mask in white in the spot where my son Joe was sitting. So we're going to get a brush, right? And this color swatch here, whatever is on the foreground is the color you're going to be painting. Now it's right now it's black. And we don't want to paint black. It's not going to do any good. We want to paint white. So you could hit this um, 90 degree arrow key right next to it and we'll swap them. So white is black and black is now white. You also could hit the X key on your keyboard and it will swap them back and forth. So I'm just hitting the X key now. So we want white. Now if for any reason you were playing around in Elements before and you don't have white and black there, just hit the D key. D is in dog. And that will put the default colors back on. The default colors are white and black. Okay, so we picked a brush. We have our swatches set up so the white is the foreground color. The brush we want to use is a hard brush. So go through your brushes here and pick one that that is um, a hard brush. Like this one right here looks pretty hard. Okay, now what we want to do is get a bigger brush. So I'm going to hit the right bracket key. You could, if you guys are using a mouse with a, a wheel, a spin wheel, you could use that. Um, or you could go down here to the slider and turn that slider to the right or move it to the right. Opacity, we want 100%. Now all I want to do now, make sure, this is the where a lot of uh, beginners make the mistake. Make sure the layer mask is selected. You're clicked on the mask. Don't be clicked on the picture. If you're painting on the picture, it won't do it and you're going to wreck things. So paint on the mask. And you could tell you're selected. It has this kind of light blue border around it. All right. So make sure you're paint, painting on the mask. Now all we got to do is go where we, you know, and we know Joe's on this side of the bench in this in this layer. So we just go over here and just start painting. Now look at that, it's like magic. And we just paint, paint, paint until we get Joe number two on the picture. Now you can see, look at the mask now. I got this big white blotch right there. That's where Joe's sitting and now it's showing through. So this picture, now we have this one going all the way through because there's no mask. But this picture on top of it, only the part that is underneath the white mask is coming through. And that's Joe there. Now we want to add the third layer, which is Joe sitting on the right side of the bench. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to click on the Move tool. And we're going to grab this and move it up over to that first tab. And we're going to drop it on. Before we drop it, though, we're going to hold the Shift key down to drop it right in the middle. Now Joe is sitting there on the right. Now we want to add a black mask again. Now remember, it defaults when we click that. It's going to be a white mask. But a way to get the black mask without hitting Command-I later, a faster way, is hold the Alt or Option key down when you click on the mask. And it will automatically put a black mask in there. Okay, so that's a lot easier than clicking the white one than hitting Command-I to invert it to black. All right. Okay, so now it's black, so it's not letting it be shown through. Remember, black is blocking it all. But now we're going to paint on the mask. So make sure you're clicked on the mask. And we're going to get this brush over here again. We're having the, it's white. Everything stays the same. And we're just going to paint here and get Joe number three in the image. Just like that. Okay, now we're done. But let's say you made a mistake. You had you didn't drink enough coffee, and you had a, a nervous twitch, and you were painting on this mask, and you went like that, and you go, "Oh my gosh! I just you know took off my son's head and shoulders." All you have to do 
is switch the color in the color swatch so the foreground is black and then go over and paint black back on the mask. That's all you have to do. So if you make a mistake like that, just paint black over where, you know, just switch these colors and paint the opposite color is pretty much it. And that's it. That's all you have to do to um, get three layers into, a, into one tab and add a couple masks so you could mask off parts of the image so you uh, and let through other parts of the image so you get three my three sons sitting on a bench and um, that's it and you know you guys if you want to download these files um, I'll, I'll make them available go over to my website where I have um, this um, I'll have it linked if you're watching this on YouTube I'll have it linked in the description where you have to go on my website and you'll be able to download these files and you can practice on it yourself alright so that's it that's um, episode 7 of learn Adobe Photoshop Elements 12 and I uh, thank everyone for watching and if you guys uh, would do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel I'd really appreciate it and I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed already thank you very much so until our next episode um, everyone take care